meant to expose the intentions of 60-year-old TJ from northern Wisconsin. TJ drove over four hours one way to meet with who he thought was a 13-year-old girl. This was after nearly two weeks of chatting with him in the chat room, and yes, chat rooms still do exist. After we told him that we were 13 years old, he then responded with, that's perfect, and then he was quick to give us his username on a different app to continue talking. In the chat room, he said that his name was Alan, and then on this other app, his screen name was TJ Cruz. Later on, I found out that neither of those are his real name. When I confronted him about the different names, he claimed that Alan was his middle name. The video I'm about to show you is from May 28th of 2022. Now, the reason why it took so long to post this video is because, first of all, his name. I was hoping to get the police report so that I would have his actual name. Um, I did ask the detective and he said he could not give me his name. And unfortunately, it's gonna take about six weeks to obtain that police report. Rather than waiting six weeks, I decided that I would go ahead and just make this video so he can be exposed now. Once I find out his actual name, I will post his name in the description below as well as my Instagram and my Facebook page. But until then, I will still just refer to him as TJ. And if you know who he is after seeing this exposure video, please DM me or Chris on Instagram or Facebook. The goal, of course, is to get this video to spread to his family and his friends and his neighborhood so that, you know, they just know the kind of person he is. And after seeing these chats, uh, you'll understand why. Now, the first few days of uh, conversation were pretty bland. However, it's still uh, just inappropriate, you know. After a few days had passed, TJ did bring up the fact that he wanted this 13-year-old girl to be with an older man someday, that way she can be spoiled. He then talked about his motorcycle and how hot she would be on it, and he was talking about driving four hours one way just so he could take her on a motorcycle ride. TJ also had the decoy uh, measure her head, that way he would know what size helmet to buy her for the motorcycle, and he even sent her instructions on how to measure her head. Now, at first, this guy claimed that he was getting her this bitchin' ass helmet, but then uh, later on, he just decided to get her this helmet. He's the wish.com of child predators. TJ told this decoy that she should wear really tight clothes when they go on their motorcycle ride, of course for the sake of wind, and then he also said something about hot girls in tight clothing, you know, to a 13-year-old. At one point, I said, I can make mac and cheese, and then he responded with, you're hired. I asked him how much he would pay me, uh, and then he responded with uh, house, bed, clothes, and love. He then referred to it as our bed and asked how long I could stay with him if he came and picked me up. To prove that I was real, he wanted me to send him a video of myself saying hi, TJ, and then he sent this back. Hey, beautiful. Before meeting TJ, he actually bailed on me twice. First was after one week we were going to meet, but he couldn't get away from work until 5. That means he would get to me by 9 p.m. and he expressed how he would only have a couple hours with me until my mom gets home from work. He then said he didn't want to rush on a first date and we should give it more time. But over the course of a week, things got more intense. TJ discussed getting intimate and we talked about how far I would go with him. Luckily, he's very respectful and he told the 13-year-old girl, Please understand, don't keep going if you are uncomfortable or afraid to. I won't dump you, okay? I want you in my life. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> now, if you want to read the full chat logs, consider becoming a member on YouTube or a member to my Ko-Fi. Links in the description below. Now, when the day came to meet again, he said that he could get to me around 6 p.m but I was waiting in my car at the location where we were supposed to meet at from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m., so I guess he got spooked again. He claimed that he was worried that I would be a cop, and that's why he didn't show up. He also sent that around 10 p.m., so about two hours after I left the, the location that we were supposed to meet at. But, you know, the next day, he was all set and ready to meet and ready to travel an eight-hour round trip to kidnap this child. Now the plan was for him to pick up this 13 year old girl, bring her back to his place Saturday night, and then bring her back Monday while I was supposed to tell my mom that I was at a friend's house this whole time. He actually gave me updates along the way just so I know that he was actually on the way this time and he sent me pictures of mile markers and everything. Once I knew he was actually coming this time, I set up camp really far away from the parking lot and I just waited, so here we go. Hi, T 
TJ, right here. Hi. Hi. How are you? Looking for you? I'm here. I got really hot. So, what are you doing here? I'm just filming for my, my safety and yours. I'm just filming for my safety and yours. What are you doing here? Why'd you drive four hours today? We're not gonna hurt you, that's why we're filming for safety reasons. We just wanna know why you drove four hours today to Madison. Pizza. Pizza? They don't have pizza where you're from? Yep. Why, what, what pizza place is in Madison that you like? Pizza Ranch. They don't have a pizza ranch in Rice Lake? Nope. Not lacrosse? Probably. All right, well, you can tell me the truth, otherwise I can just read it on these chat logs and uh, turn it in and it won't be good for you. Do you want to sit on the bench over there? Like I said, we're not going to hurt you. Is that okay with you? I just want to talk about, about why, you're why you're here to meet a 13 year old girl for sex to. Well, I didn't think you were 13. You didn't? Well, the pictures are clearly of a really young looking girl. She told you she was 13, right? Uh, probably. She absolutely did. And remember, you said that's actually perfect when you found out her real age. She said, I'm not actually 18 like my profile says, I'm 13, is that okay? You said, that's actually beyond perfect, remember? Mm, I don't remember that conversation, but all right. Yeah. Here, do you want to hold this? Yeah. Well, I can refresh your memory on a couple things. Can yes. I ask what the point is? The point? I mean, you're here to kidnap a 13-year-old and bring her all the way four hours back to your house. And? And don't you see that as a problem? I didn't see that as a problem because there's no way in the world I was going to do that. But you're here. You drove four hours to tell her that you're going to bring her back to your house and you guys are dating. We have everything right here. Yes. So it was just all talk? Sure. Yes or no? I mean, was it all talk? Yeah. If it was all talk, why are you here right now? Just when, to drive. When you thought I was a kid sitting over there when you couldn't see me from back there, you said, I was just trying to find you. I couldn't see you. Over there. Exactly. No. Fine. From right Fine. there. From, from right there. When I said hi, TJ, and my kid voice, he said, "Hey, I was looking for you." Remember that? Yeah, Why were you looking that. for her? Looking for you. Why were you looking for the 13-year-old? I was looking for you. Your picture. Well, that picture isn't. It doesn't exist. It's a fake set photo. I think it's time to start just being honest. Just get it off your chest. You know what you were doing was wrong. You were worried about cops yesterday. The whole drive here, you're sending pictures of you being on your way. The whole walk over here, you're trying to find me. The jig is up, man. Just be honest. Why be honest about what? You know what? Your intent. I mean, it's all right here. Why did you tell her that you guys are together? I mean, it kind of looks like you were trying to groom her. That's a favorite word going around today. What do you mean today? Today's society, everything's about grooming. Is this not grooming? You were here to kidnap a 13 year old. You said that you were dating her. You tell her that she's beautiful. Kidnapping is she's someone you said beyond that her, without her consent. Without you, her you said that you were infatuated with this 13 year old. Infatuated? Yes. It seems like you don't remember a lot, so I'll well, refresh your memory. Let's talk about this word consent real quick. Is a 13 year old old enough to consent? So what's the point of this, this whole thing here then? I mean, you came here to kidnap a 13 year old. That's, that's kind of the point. And we're I mean, at... Why did you show up today? What do you mean, what's the point? What's the point of you showing up today? So you. you don't kidnap a child for sex. That's why I'm here. You know, like everything that you said you were going to do. You said you wanted her to live with you. I did not see that. You said, you I'm offering my house and new clothes. My bed will be our bed. Oh, you want me to live with you? I'd be a fool to turn away such a beautiful, cute, hot girl. You're so sweet. I wish I wasn't 13 so I could just live with you already, but I can still visit if you pick me up. I'd like that very much. How long could you stay and visit? 
right after you said she was 13, so you can't plead ignorance on that one. How do you think, how do you think this would hold up to a police officer, investigator, detective? How do you think this would all hold up for you? Probably not good. Probably not good. So why do you keep asking what's the point? I'm just going to keep telling you this is the point so you don't kidnap a child for sex. All right. You're taking, your plan was to take her four hours away from her town, her city, for the weekend. Without her mom's knowledge. Without her mom's knowledge. She had to lie to her mom, you know, make up an excuse of where she would be. So it, That's kidnapping. It's all made up. It's all made up, but you didn't know it was all made up until today. I until figured right it now. was all made up yesterday. Why would you drive four hours? Because I figured it was all made up. Then why would you drive four hours? It's because I just said, because I figured it was all fake. Anyway. Memorial Day weekend, you're driving four hours for something that you think is fake? Yep. I don't like rushing out first date. Rather meet up and relax and take time. I know you want to see me and girl as much as I do. Let's not rush. Meeting, come down next Friday evening, and that way we all have the weekend instead of just a couple hours. So you wanted to spend the whole weekend with her, not just a couple hours. I want to see you very much. Let's plan for next weekend. You wanted to take her riding on your motorcycle. You ask her if she's been intimate with a guy before. Why do you care if a 13-year-old has been intimate with a guy before? She's young enough to be your grandkid, great-grandkid. Yep. Are you married? Nope. Why are you wearing that ring? What hand is it on? Do you have kids? What hand is it on? Do you have kids? What business is it of yours to meet up with who you think so is a 13-year-old girl? How would you feel if the tables were turned and you had a daughter or a son that was 13 years old still? and someone drove four hours to take them out of their house without your knowledge to have sex with them. They already did. So you want to repeat that cycle and be that creep? The same thing that happened to your kids? You want to do that to someone else's kid? Nope, I never was anywhere around. I wasn't even allowed to see it. That happened before I even, before I even saw her for the very first time. Your daughter that happened? Mm -hmm. So why are you willing to do that to someone else's kid? The same thing that happened to your daughter. You are that person now. You are no better than the guy that took advantage of your kid. So what was the whole point of me getting, bringing me down here? You came down here yourself. Yeah, but you, you coerced me to come down here. So, so it's the kid's the fault. So it's the kid's fault. I didn't say that. I asked you why you brought me down here. You're in no to position down. to ask questions. You have not answered any of mine. So what's the point of the whole thing then? The point is I'm here so you don't kidnap a child and take her four hours out of her city to have sex with her. Okay. I'm not going to repeat that again, so stop saying what is the point of this. You know what the point is. You know what you're here to do. You already admitted to it. And it's not going to happen. It never had intent. And it's happen. not going to happen because nope. we're here. No? So why are you here? Why did you come to that tree? You asked me to come to that tree. Because you said you're here, so why are you here? So what's going to happen? What happens now? Why are you here? What happens now? Why are you here? Why do I have to answer that? To have sex with a kid. You want me to say that? I want you to say the truth. And if you don't say why you're here, then yeah, it's safe to assume that you're going to kidnap this child. Yeah, this is your chance for redemption. We're giving you a chance to talk. We can just uh, film your face and leave. On camera? What? Redemption on camera? Yeah, it's for safety reasons. I have nothing against you. Or you. Are you sure? I Probably not very happy with us. We, met, you know, you drove four hours to meet who you thought was a 13-year-old girl. It turned out to be two people with a camera questioning you on why you would meet up with a 13-year-old girl. And I don't I, think you're pretty happy with us. Uh, no, I actually thought this was probably going to happen because you screwed up twice today, yesterday and today. And you screwed up twice by grooming this child online, talking sexual to her online, which is illegal, luring her, which is illegal, and you screwed up by showing up today. You screwed up. Here. Way more. Way worse. We screwed up because, oh sorry, we do this like we have so many other profiles and so many other people we're talking to, so sometimes things get mixed up and that's your, that's your, you justifying it like, well you messed up and you messed up, no, but I'm just we're saying, not the ones trying to fuck a kid or to try to kidnap a kid, you are. All I'm saying is, you screwed up twice. And you so, screwed up by showing up. What is your argument right now? Your My argument is, I came here for pizza, right? Pretty much you came to that tree for now. pizza, right? That's what you said. You came here for pizza, right? Yes. You came here for Pizza Ranch. And, it was, and I figured there was a pretty good chance that there was 
that you weren't going to be who you said you were. So, so I came would... here for Pizza Ranch, which isn't even on the west side, and to see if there was a 13-year-old here or not. So why were you curious if there was a 13-year-old here? Why do you care? Why do you care that I'm here? Answer my question, or I'll call the police. Why, why wouldn't we care? You don't think people should care that there's people in their What's 60s the going to meet children off the internet? Well, you're, you already said enough, and you admitted your intent earlier. So it's just icing on the cake. It's horrible, man. What you're doing is horrible, and you don't seem to show any remorse for it. You don't seem to think what you did was wrong, which means that if there was a real 13-year-old girl, you still wouldn't think it was wrong. It's messed up. And, you know, let's go back to the big... Hold on. Okay. Good point. So let's go back to the beginning. When you were on chatib.us and you talked to a girl, you didn't know she was 13 by the profile. But then when she said, oh, I'm not really 18, I'm 13, why didn't you stop talking to her? Why didn't you stop talking to her? Should a grown adult not talk to 13-year-old girls online? Yes or no? It's a simple question. You're in no position to ask any questions. Why does it matter how many times you've done this? You're in the same category as all of those other people. You're in the same category as the guy that raped your own kid. And you don't even care. You ask us, why do, why do we care that you're here? Well, we care because we don't want other people... You were here to kidnap a child and have sex with her. Someone that is young enough to be your great-grandchild and you don't give a fuck. That's sickening. That's disgusting. Don't you, don't you see a problem with that? You show no remorse. And I think that's, that's one of the worst things out of this whole conversation is that you just don't care. That's sick. That's almost more sick than your chats. You don't even care. Because if, if there was a 13-year-old girl here right now, you guys would be walking all the way down there to your truck and you would have driven her four hours back to your house and had sex with her. And she's not old enough to consent. She might want to do it right now because she thinks she's old enough, but her mind is not mature enough. That's why there's adults. You say no. This should not, we shouldn't even be here today. This whole thing. Yeah, exactly. So why are we here? How many times have you done this before? None. So this is just your first time and you felt so comfortable driving eight hours your first time? Eight hours, eh? I went from four hours to eight. Four hours here. You're going back home eventually, right? Four hours back. That's eight hours. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I don't believe that this is your first time. Because it was so easy for you to drive an eight hour round trip for your first time. You showed up. This is your first time? Yeah. You were so quick to show up. That's why I don't believe you. Don't have to believe me. Switch, we could see that you seem to care because there's other people in the world like you who do this to real children. And they, you know, we'd hope that people actually cared, you know? Do you, do you think what we do is wrong? Do you think what you do is wrong? I to say what I was going to do. Do you think having a sexually charged conversation with who you thought was a kid is wrong? I didn't find that very sexually charging, but that's your definition, all right? Yeah, saying that you want to share a bed with her, saying that you want to take her all the way back to your house, four hours away, without her parents knowing. It's pretty inappropriate, wouldn't you say? Get intimate. And if, she, if you go too far, if, she, if you go too far, she can tell you to stop and you won't break up with her. What do you, how, what do you think that would do to a real kid's mind the rest of their lives? Probably mess them up? Good. What's that? Probably not pretty good. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. And that'd be you that caused that. And that can cause lifelong damage to her brain that can lead to, I mean, people commit suicide because of that kind of experience as a child. How often do you do this? It doesn't matter. What I do doesn't matter either. You don't think it matters, which is why we're here, so that you don't you connect really a child. You really think I came here four hours? Absolutely. Otherwise, why else would you be here? For a pizza ranch that doesn't even exist on the west side? Are you kidding me? 
when there's one in lacrosse which is hours and hours and hours closer to you than Madison Westside, which doesn't even have a pizza ranch. Yes, absolutely I think that you came here to kidnap a kid because that's what you said you come in the chats that you were coming to do. But you didn't word it kidnapping, you worded that you're gonna bring her back to your house. But didn't you already that is kidnapping. That you had made two mistakes, so didn't it doesn't matter if we couldn't keep up with what predator <laughs> that we're talking to. It's not funny. What is funny about this? What is funny about you raping a fucking kid? What is funny? Why are you laughing? That you can't keep up with the conversations. You've Neither got can so you. many going on. Yeah, we do. Don't you see that this is a fucking problem? That's not fucking funny. You think it's funny that there's so many people out there like you fucking murdering kids' minds, raping them, fucking sexual trafficking, child trafficking. You're pissing me the fuck off. Go to your car. We're gonna get your license plate, turn you in. Go to your car. You had your fucking chance. You pissed me off. Go to your car. No. I can stand here all day. I'm sure I'm not in any rush. I'm sure you're not either. You just drove four hours to fuck a kid and kidnap them. I'm not in any rush, so I can stand here all day. Let's go back home. Don't ever try to do this kind of thing again. I will. I, will but I was kind of hoping that cops would us here. Why? Well, we can get them here then. <laughs> no, don't do me any favors. Don't do Why? you any favors. We're doing you a huge fucking favor right now. There, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you. What's what's the favor? We have a long walk, so keep talking, Chris. Piss me the fuck off. Yeah, it's real funny. I didn't think it was funny. I thought it was funny because you thought The I reason why your daughter got raped is because of you. No, my daughter was raped. I was I spent twelve years in prison for For uh, what? For what? What did you spend twelve years in prison for? She I was in prison for twelve years. She didn't see me until she was fourteen. What were you in prison for? Yeah, you're right. I'll just look it up after I get later. Sure you will. I hope you take the next four hours to really think about what you did and realize it's it all on you. Four hours to last two weeks. Then why are you here? How much gas did you spend to get here? Hour drive, all because you wanted to get off. When the same thing happened to your kid, you came here to do the same exact thing to another parent's kid. Her brother? That's still just because it's a guy. That mean a little boy. That means he wasn't taken advantage of. We catch people all the time that are there to rape little boys. We just put a cop away for that a month ago. We didn't call the cops. Okay, so cops are here. Let's get a scene. Don't turn the camera. Nope. Remembered um, last time the cops showed up in Madison, Officer Wetjen from Madison Police Department on the west side, uh, she threatened to arrest me if I ever did this again, and she also said what we're doing is uh, a terrible joke and it's it's a sham. So when the cops showed up, you know we were initially nervous, like it was Memorial Day weekend, and I looked at Chris and I was like, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? <laughs> But yeah, I just want to say, you know, when cops show up to something like this, uh, I was actually scared. I was more worried about being arrested or being threatened or being mistreated, being treated like a criminal. Um, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't have to be that way, especially with, with the, the situation, you know, at hand. TJ was the one doing something illegal there. I was not. And, you know, it shouldn't have to be that way. And uh, Officer Wetjen really gave us a, a sour taste for uh, Madison PD, unfortunately. Thankfully, the officers that did show up, uh, they're really respectful um, and they 
thanked us for what we were doing and understood, you know, that we just do it completely different ways than they do. Um, they never once threatened us, they never uh, once talked down to us, and they actually accepted our evidence, so that was, that was nice, you know. If you know TJ, please don't go up to him, don't harm him, don't harass him. Um, just help share this video so that everybody in his life can see it and everyone in his neighborhood. It's just that his intentions were truly uh, absolutely concerning. He drove four hours one way to, to, to bring this 13 year old girl four hours, you know, back home with him. And that's kidnapping. I just want to judge something real quick. Um, when I asked him what he was doing here uh, under the tree where he met me, he said that he drove all the way to Madison for pizza. For pizza. I've never heard that excuse before, so that was that was a new one. I mean, the world's largest brat fest was going on like five miles away, but he chose to say pizza. Not to mention, he couldn't even say a pizza shop that was just solely in Madison. He said pizza ranch. It's just mind blowing. Like, obviously he likes cheese pizza, but like, dang. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you wanna help support this channel or you know see uh, videos early or access to full uncensored content and chat logs, consider becoming a member in the pinned comment or consider becoming a member on my Ko-Fi which has the same exact benefits and it really helps us. Um, if not, you know, sharing, liking, and subscribing, that really helps uh, as well. If you wanna get a hold of Chris or I, um, all of our social medias are in the description below, so be sure to follow us on all of those, and yeah. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, and be safe.